easily outgunned the Messerschmitt. I named the 109 a Florette and the 190 a Sabre. The 190 was a rocket aircraft, but the 190 had a very good setup of weapons. They had four weapons around the engine, very close to the engine. And uh, you see, you can uh, find that the, uh, the serious kills in a day, up to 13, 14, like when Novotny had, were done with a 190. In their final analysis, the test team reported that in spite of its unreliable engine, the FW-190 was far less vulnerable in combat and had several significant advantages over the BF-109F. The Focke-Wolf had a very strong engine and in itself was very robust and well built. It coped very well with being shot at, probably more so than the ME-109. The Focke-Wolf had an air-cooled engine and the ME-109 had a liquid-cooled engine, which meant that if, for instance, some shrapnel damaged the cooling system, the ME-109 couldn't continue, whereas the Focke-Wolf, with its air-cooled system, could. The Focke-Wolf was faster at lower levels, for instance, up to 6,000 meters, but above that the ME-109 was superior. Most of the air fights usually happened below 6,000 meters, which meant that the Focke-Wolf had the advantage. It was much more robust than the ME-109, but some of the shortcomings were, for instance, that when dive bombing, because of the air-cooled system, depending on the speed, it would open up and therefore affect the stability of the aeroplane in the air. Sometimes the aircraft would tilt to one side and you could find yourself in a helpless situation. You had no control over it and it would be very difficult to write again.